Alright guys, BLM here back more Disco Elysium. It is nighttime now. Um, <laughs> since I, uh, it's already what, like almost 1 o'clock, 12.42, so I don't know how much we'll record here, but we'll see. I do work tomorrow, but not until a bit later, so we'll see, but uh. It's you again. What? But yeah, um, so last time I streamed, I was thinking like, okay, I think we're nearing the end. I think we have a few more episodes left and we should be done with it. Um, turns out from what I understand, we're like only like two thirds of the way through the game, uh, which is like fuck. <laughs> so uh, I think at this point we're pretty much going to streamline it, but why? I'm really just uh, wanting to finish it. Get with it, or fuck off. Yeah, fuck off! Mm. Sounds like you're making her a suspect. In yeah, I mean, today did not go no, according to plan. Uh, like, I wanted to get the Australian Survivor script done. Uh, turns out, I only got to episode 8 out of 18, so... Uh, actually, no, only episode 7. I only finished episode 7, so... Yeah, not great, but I did get distracted along the way, which is part of it, but um, like I should have some time here and there over the next couple days that I'll work on it. Um, I should have more time than normal on Tuesday to work on stuff, so I'm kind of hoping that uh, through um, those, like that little bit of extra time that I'm able to uh, get enough time there to uh, finish it. Uh, or fan, like to get more caught up, I should say. Um. Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude. We're I think we'll keep sticking along, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. From the corner of your eye, you see a little bird fly into mm. the bush, right behind the window, behind Titus' back. A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blades. Floor plans. Bullet trajectories, webs of human motion, all channeled into a single thought. Because she was here all night with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's COP 101. She was here all night, 11.30 to 12.15. She was here during all that time. Yeah, with us. Drinking. Near the stage there. No. That's a lie. All right. She took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment. Maybe went out to. She has an operation to run. A lorry. We're not getting into what that operation is again. Just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. I've been through this. It's not plausible. He's been through it. That means he suspected her too. We've only 
only been drinking here for what? Six years? How much? Been thinking of getting wildin' in rats. That is on. There you go. Tad it on his ass. No. no, but that doesn't prove anything. It's just two dogs. We're not giving you Ruby for that. She's one of us. What if those two doors are connected, Eugene? If they are connected, she could have gone to the kitchen. Yes, she could have. This is one. Lump. Firmly. Tr and even then, I wrapped up with that bullet. Um, yeah, something I did do today. There was a couple of random things I did today. First thing I did today was, um, I started watching a No More Heroes Let's Play. Because No More Heroes 3 is coming up pretty soon, and to be honest, I'm probably not going to have the opportunity to play it anytime soon. So I think what I'm going to do is just watch a Let's Play of it. And, um... It kind of reminded me that it's like... I don't remember much of the show, or the show, of the No More Heroes 1 or 2. So I decided to watch a Let's Play. I started watching a Let's Play of 1. Which was interesting. Uh, after that, though, um, so the one thing that I got distracted with today is, um, so I kind of realize that when looking at this channel now, um, it's kind of hard to really gauge uh, what, like it used to be that everything I played was on this channel, but now due to me live streaming I was that's not the case anymore uh, where this is more so just a representation of the new thing, things that I'm playing or possibly the old things that I need like footage for um, so yeah I mean it's not really that representation of that anymore so I decided you know what let's make like I wanted to up so I decided okay I used to keep a list of every game I played on this channel up until um, when I started the other channel, the main channel, and then like obviously all my focus went to that. But I did keep around this list, and I decided, you know, today you know, I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's update this and then make it a mixture of this and a live channel, so I kind of have a good gauge of like everything that I'm playing um, around the same time, uh, especially because like the both channels kind of progress. My main channel as well, so I kind of want to have like that list there. So I decided to do that today, and that wasted like two hours uh, updating that list because yeah, that's like two years worth of games uh, I need to add to it. But what he's all right. Phase three, motive, the last component. Mm. Yeah. Like what? The big man falls absolutely silent. Yeah, but they're both girls. Girls like girls too, Angus, sometimes. This is one of those times. She liked Glacier. Yeah? No. Ruby's got more balls in a ball pit. You'd have to be an idiot not to. Guys, I'm not the only one who knew. Right? Knew what? First he says she's murdered him. Now she's a f who? It's a lie. Come on, Glenn. She likes Monica's titties more than you do. Everyone knows which way the wind blows. Who's Monica? I did. I knew it. That's why she didn't fuck me at Fatty's birthday party. She didn't fuck you. Cause you're 40. And you still live with your mom, Dennis. Ruby then threatened her and told her to end her relationship with the deceased. This is some sordid shit. It's also the kind of garbage our Miss Aronier puts out to cover her own ass. Sort of, but he doesn't have to know that. Figures, but that Ruby is 
queer as cabaret. Now that I start thinking about it. And that's okay. Some are queerer than others. If that's the case, then it's not right. There are many pieces that fit together that way, E.G. Face it. And I suppose. Think about it. She had, like, a fully formed... Really, Shanks? Time for a logics demonstration. It's a thought exercise, Titus. Think. If she used us, or she <laughs> didn't... <coughs> oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she's skipped down. This is good. Nah, man. That's just Ruby. Plus, man, it's like female intuition. You know, women talk to... Yeah. Wishful thinking has no... A more serious consideration that you wish to avoid is that she knew what happened because she, you had expressed on occasion your dislike of the whack someone there Man, no. okay we ruled out in silence the old man in the corner a very small nod yeah I see it there's one more thing I've been wondering about ever since you had... I don't no. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I ask. Wanna know why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she would right. By now. She knew there's evidence on her. And she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. Right. I told you. You. No, you. As in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Yeah. You know. She said you have a funny. Until you have something on her. She said she's heard it. Open Angus up. Silence. He nods. You are. <laughs> oh, I got trophy. Yeah. There was something in it. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. Mm -hmm. She's not far. You know that. Much. It didn't take her long. So, he's on Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Al. And we won't either. She's not really a party candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. A little on the coast. Where have you looked for? More precisely, on the coast, past the water log. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Who's doing this looking? They're all here. Lizzie needed some air. You're a smart cop, but you're a stupid person. No one goes to tell everyone anything. It's called a radio. You believe Sure, there's some shit houses there. The center block town. The fisher folk there refused to unionize. So I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes pray. Time for you to step up. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Die. She looks like a lorry. The what now? She said she's building a a pale emitter. We were talking about radio equipment. This guy barely understands. There you have it. Mm. It'll have to. His grip 
is firm and reassuring, like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Jeff Pro, or not my Jeff Pro, my uh, Big Brother top the video comes out, which uh, I'm expecting to do well. But we'll see, I guess. I'm sure, this today ended up being a better day view wise than yesterday for some reason. So bad in this game. Let's continue listening to the I still didn't listen to this. But I think the way that she approaches it, like, it is a very Hufflepuff thing. Also, we don't see her on the show. It's very hard to do. Yeah, that plays it a little bit harder. Yeah. Well. yeah. But I do think mostly Hufflepuff. Oh. Agreed. Kara, I might say the same. Uh, yeah, definitely Hufflepuff. Let's learn that what an empath is. Yes. I think that that is a Hufflepuff. Yes, that is literally Hufflepuff you know, to its extremes. Like, I don't see what else it could possibly be. The general, like, benign, like, Oh, what just happened? It's very helpful. Yes. Danny? Gryffindor. Gryffindor? Gryffindor Slytherin? Do they ever know? Does she have Slytherin in her? Like, I mean, I guess she's trying to, like, blindside people, mm. but not. Like, it's I feel like gone. she's bulldozing through it. Like, to me, it's, like, hardcore Gryffindor. Well, because the whole, like, bring him close and then stab him in the back thing. Yeah, but she's doing it, like, quite bluntly. Like, yeah, it's, I think if a Slytherin was doing that, it would be a little bit more lethal and it would work. Whereas, like, a Gryffindor doing it, like, yes, like, the big move is there for sure, but she's just, like, kind of, throw, like, running at it, if that makes sense. Like, that's why I see Gryffindor just, like, hard at it. And maybe that's what's so complicated about Danny is that she's a Gryffindor who kind of wants to be a Slytherin, which is yes. not a thing, and so we're like, what are you doing? Yeah, I agree. Like, the, the evilness of Slytherin has more of a death touch, whereas Danny's just, like... We're saying, like, we're making this big move right now. We're doing it at this time for some reason. I'm talking about it to this group of people. It's like, that's what a Gryffindor would do. It's like, it's that confidence. Okay. Agreed. Yep, you're right. She, I think as well, like, in the pre-season, like, she really, like, exemplified Braun in a lot of the marketing. And I think, like, she was, like, when I say it's Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor, like, she was, like, that Gryffindor of that. I think that you can be kind of, like, the heavy, which is more Slytherin, like, you know. Malfoy's mates, like, mm -hmm. there is that type Stop of Slytherin that is just kind of like, uh, yeah, the muscle, but with malintent. Which sometimes is Danny, and it's part of why I love her. I see it, but I see it in like a small way. Like, I definitely yeah. see her as Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Agreed. Okay. okay. What about Flick? She just has a figure I'm torn between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Um, Same. I think she's more Gryffindor at heart, and that we've. Seen the the, I heard the I don't see it, but I see it in like a small way. Like, what can I help uh, you with? No, no. Nay, I haven't seen anyone. Because this oh, is shit. Shop one. She's being evasive. There was a murder in Latina. Would you now? I know how this world works, and it doesn't work when people tell on each other. I. That you are, Dark Oak. I'm not going anywhere. Perhaps there's something else the village can do for you, eh? Though we don't have much here. Just garbage and a The place is so pornographically poor. She nods, rinsing another piece Wait, what? of What? What did I just do? I think I fucked up. Now it's your turn, Mr. She makes around here. It's Oh, 
saw it. A shack. That's this one, right? Whatever. Uh, yeah, the muscle, but with malintent. Which sometimes is Danny, and it's part of why I love her. I see it, but I see it in like a small way. Like I definitely see her as Gryffindor. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. What about Flick? Mm, I'm torn between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Um, I think she's more Gryffindor at heart and that we've seen the goodness of what she's done around dementia awareness and are wanting to say that she's Hufflepuff but that in fact she is at her core a competitor that likes to be loyal and um, to me that's Gryffindor totally agree Gryffindor but like mostly Gryffindor for sure this is getting like so like I think before we used to just do one house and now we're like really into like the percentages of it, which is fun. <laughs> which is what people love. That's what people are here for. Um, Andrew, he has nine confessionals to this point. Are we gonna work out who Andrew is? Who is Andrew? Who is Andrew? That's, like, that's what we get over two hours that's and twelve weeks six straight at Survival Podcast. The question: Who is Andrew? <laughs> No this might be one of the most telling sortings that we've ever done because I, nothing pops to mind with me immediately with Andrew. I'd say not Ravenclaw. Yeah, he was a brain, but he really is struggling on those split points. I need to keep coming back to a great muscle, though. Um, and, I mean, he's more like the caretaker, isn't he? Like, he's kind of... Muggled? Like, I don't, I don't feel like he fits into the houses. Okay, tough one. I mean, like, he is a bare hand animal catcher in his career. Like, that truly is Gryffindor. Like, we don't see a lot of that. Like, the fact that this man is a bare hand animal catcher with a huge YouTube following, that's so interesting. Like, I can't believe that translates to the character we've got from Andrew. But, like, knowing that part of his personality, that is Gryffindor. Yeah, agree. But have you ever watched his YouTube? I do want to because I'm a vegetarian and I don't like people catching animals with their bare hands. I haven't watched it either because it sounded like something that might freak me out a bit. Um, but I've heard that he's more of a comedian. What? What? Someone told, someone told me this, that it's more like funny videos. Someone's going to have to do some research and actually watch these funny. videos, I think. I think it's meant to be like slap. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Andrew, if I'm completely wrong about this. But I think it's more like slapstick. Well, what's like, that? No, like, you know what I mean, but like... No, but like, what house is that? I, I, I didn't realize it was slapstick bare hands oh, animal oh catching. God, I couldn't completely wrong. I, I, I haven't watched it, but I swear I've heard that somewhere. Now I'm just imagining what I was imagining before, which was him catching animals, but with the soundtrack... Exactly. I think that's what it is. Um, so... He's not Slytherin. He's not Ravenclaw. I think he might be oh, a Hufflepuff. Wait, what the fuck is this? Uh, I got it. Done. 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 I let my room to that Hey mate, girl. my name's Andrew Eagles and I'm now running wild tours in the land down under. To find out how you can become a part of the As adventure, I've done before, follow the link really below. Further, or come or visit me at www.andrewyugles.com We welcome com. all kinds of people here. Okay. She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself well, into? That's the defense for Campbell. And it's time yes. to She probably heard the lieutenant's command drive by, and it woke her up. I'm on a journey Just like in the Australian mountains. Yes. Traveling that is a downside of having a 130 now, kilowatt you can literally engine. travel hundreds of kilometers the bad guys the country trying to find one. one. Or you can pick the right time of day to find one of these very elusive snakes. Now, I cleaned it, like I always do. No. Okay. Truth, sir. Yeah, this is ridiculous, actually. I don't even know if it's supposed to be ridiculous. It's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation. 
So I really appreciate that about her. So even nine years ago, he put like a fucking massive watermark on this shit. Yeah, that's bizarre. <laughs> Is this something? 
be like, I want the chaos and the flash and the confusion of what people are thinking. And then you're like, I've had enough of that. So I'll go for a little bit of like in-depth strategy. People who know exactly what they're doing. Productions who have thought through the meaning, the twists that they put into place. And then, you know, you're like, oof, that was a bit much. Back yeah. to my suite. Now you're like, now I'm thinking too much. Now I want to turn my brain off a little bit. And now you're like, but now no, I should turn my brain on. No, and that's, 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 what, that's what I go through every week. That's my officer. structure of my week. <laughs> I don't know how you talk about the at the same time, it's a lot, but they are enjoyable. There's a lot of difficulty, basically. Only because I can keep them in such separate spaces, I think that it works well. Like, that's almost like watching two different shows at this point, so it's like... They wouldn't mix. Yeah, like, they, it works for me watching it, just because they are so different, and I just hold them in that different headspace. But we're going to have edited interviews and a different podcast. I'm going to put the recap out with Utah's at ASAT, and I haven't even spoken to Emmett yet, but I really enjoyed my chats with Gerald and Laura. And I should have Emmett in a few hours, and then I'll put that out. So I hope everyone's checked that out. We actually got all three this week. That was the first time. Oh. Really grateful for that. I was really concerned they wouldn't give me like Gerald, and I'm like, no. A but then they did. Stand. That over there. Ooh. I can't wait to listen. You yeah, I was like going in for the like, please give me Gerald, like, and then they were like, you know, you got it. And it I was like, great. Like you <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have that. Next week we're gonna, gonna have Baden. Oh, geez, so I have Baden. Baden Gilbert is gonna talk with us about possibly a terrifying week seven, the penultimate week. Uh, and that should be a lot of fun. And then talking no tribal is happening that. every week. Nick is on that. We have a lot of fun recapping oh, that, getting the taste out ASAP. That and Nick is well. back. He should could be back for next week. So that's exciting. It should be the later. four of us as well, with Nick, Luke, me, and Nathan. That should be really fun. What a panel. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that. And that is all that I have for this podcast. Subscribe to the International Survivor Have Up Speed. Follow me at Shannon Gates so that you don't miss any of that. But Tessa, thank you so much for coming on again and for manifesting this great week by being my guest. My pleasure, and I look forward to next time. Yeah, so I'm, you know, save you again, hopefully, for the good week from your incredible life. Oh, no, 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 but no. thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to talk with us. Um, thank you for everyone for listening. Thank you to Scott St. Pierre behind the scenes, and we will see you next time. See you on the exits, and go donate to Fleet's GoFundMe. Bye. Bye. Now, I think we'll end here. Mm. Next episode, continue on. Uh, for now, thank you for watching.